गुड मॉर्निंग इंडिया दोस्तों आपका दोस्त और होस्ट राकेश मिश्रा हाजिर है इस मंडे मॉर्निंग की सभा में ऑल द वे फ्रॉम टोरंटो कनाडा आपसे बारह हजार किलोमीटर दूर यहाँ से आपसे आज इस मंडे मॉर्निंग की सभा में बात करने के लिए हाजिर हूँ तो दोस्तों I have full confidence and full hope that you had really enjoyed your uh, weekend with your family with your friends with yourself and had really really a fun filled weekend so chaliye doston let's start this monday the week with this monday morning little a motivation talk and by this time you might have already realize how to deal what is this uh, a middle age we all know what this middle age crisis and i'm going to give five ways to deal with a middle age a crisis yeah so before we jump into this uh, you know the solution part that uh, how to resolve it let's come into it that what this middle age crisis is all about you know every different part of the world is being said differently someone say it's a middle age crisis and someone says it's a pressure cooker age and someone uh, says is like you know the chaos of responsibility you know so you know different different people different different part of the world and different name but the meaning is a same so okay so first you know middle age crisis now since the life expectancies are increasing people are living very healthy and active in their 80s in their 90s sometimes even the 100 yeah so middle age crisis what exactly the age it very difficult it depend which part of the world you're talking about but for instance let's for a kind of the sake of the conversation let's say somewhere of, you know from say 35 to 55 yeah so let's take that you know so i'm not you know very uh, specific you know and uh, very knowledgeable in that area what is the exact age but let's decide 35 to 55 so that is the middle age range you know i'm just taking my own example i fall in that bracket and most of my friend and circle and surrounding in that you know group and they feel that they are in the middle age crisis so why they call it middle age a crisis why they don't say middle is you know enjoyment or you know uh, middle is heaven why they call it crisis why they call it pressure cooker age so let's talk a little about that सो so, दोस्तों होता क्या है कि जो मिडिल एज होती है जो 35 और 55 की एज जो अराउंड कह सकते हैं कि अगर 35 और 4, 55 के बीच का अगर हम एक 55 45 ले लें सो व्हेन वी आर इन आवर 45 एज व्हाट हैपेंस अब इसमें क्या होता है कि अगर 45 की एज है एंड इफ यू गॉट रियली मैरिड इन टाइमली मैनर सो बाई अराउंड ट्वेंटी इफ यू गॉट मैरिड ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी सो chances are there that you have teenager kids so they are in the 12th grade or they are going to know college and university and they need lot of you know uh, expenses lot of you know the funds to support their education so there is a pressure for your children education now you are in your 40s and suddenly you know the idea popped up hey we are in our prime age we have to buy a good house or we have to buy a good car or hey we have to go this vacation or you know we have to buy that we have to buy that and not only that if you are not getting a proper a promotion in your job place there is a pressure from there and not only that sometime you got really promoted and you got really good positions and you become really good, you know the big boss and with that response ability came to you and suddenly you realize that by the time you reach home is already 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock i'm talking in the night why because you are holding a big boss position and you have to sit a lot of a uh, time at your chair most of the time what i'm trying to say that with your added responsibility in your office or in your business what happened that you don't have time for your own you know personal uh, management you know your health management so what happened your tummy started bulging out 
यू नो ए वेट बढ़ने लगता है उसकी वजह से क्या होता है आपका जो रूटीन होता है लोगों का ब्लड प्रेशर बढ़ जाता है लोगों का शुगर बढ़ जाता है देर सो मेनी अदर कॉम्प्लिकेशन पॉप्ड इन बाल झड़ने लगते हैं पेट बढ़ने लगता है और बिकॉज ऑफ दिस यू नो द स्ट्रेस ऑफ द वर्क एंड वी नीड मोर मनी इवन यू नो आई शुड नॉट बी टबू नॉट यूजिंग इट येस इवन द लोगों की सेक्सुअल डिजायर तक कम हो जाती है तो एक वो भी इंटरेस्ट कम होने लगता है कुल मिला के क्या होता है कि ऑल ऑफ सडन यू रियलाइज यू आर इन अ काइंड ऑफ द एज ग्रुप आर इन अ मेंटल स्टेट दैट यू फील नो वे आउट एंड देर इज नो टाइम फॉर द इंटरटेनमेंट सडनली सो मेनी सो मेनी वेज द नीड्स फॉर द मनी एंड नीड्स फॉर योर टाइम is popped up and you are a single person in most of the family a single person earns or even if your wife earns if the both earns then there are different kind of complication because they don't get time for each other they both work they come late they leave early and there is no communication among the family member and then there is a different chaoticness so ladies and gentlemen these are the some areas you know your health and your need they all your health kind of giving you you know up because what happened when you grow you know after 40 and all you, you need lot of maintenance you need to go to uh, going not going to the gym or doing the exercise no more is an option is a must if you want to stay healthy but for that you need a time but most of your time is been consumed to make more money so suddenly ladies and gentlemen this pressure cooker is really start happening in our world we call it pressure cooker is we call it mid age crisis but life is not meant to be that way there are ways there are ways you see people you might have seen in your friend circle people who are in their 60s 70s and 80s they are happy and healthy and you know having real fun in life yeah so now let's come here and start doing those you basically let's discuss those five ways how to deal with your crisis with your middle age crisis with your uh, pressure cooker is how to deal with so with full disclaimer what or i'm going to share with you that is my own experience i'm sharing it may work or it may not work for you and you feel free to share your own experiences so yeah so before i jump into it let's give a little shout out to my friends who joined me here today and so uh, dante uh, migrandi kalan narayan grish madha harnik matharu manjit singh tom sullivan hitan patel brejesh trifathi tejas patel jimmy kaushal jitu singh jitu singh saying hi sir jitu bhai hi so and i see some name probably they don't understand hindi so again uh, for those people who don't understand so hindi is like national language of india and uh, being indian and canadian indo canadian so this is show called english a uh, show hindi and english and i really feel proud to speak in hindi as well as english so that's how so you know most of the time i try to use Uh, both the languages hindi and english so chaliye dosto let's dive into the solution part so so far i have little brief what this middle age crisis what this pressure cooker is is and just for a discussion a sake i took 35 to 55 if you fall in that bracket that till the middle age so there are so many a uh, reason why that pressure built in our life i did kind of little uh, briefing so let's now dive into the solution side so five ways i am going to uh, you know here explain which are going to help you to deal with a middle age crisis so way number 1 so my dear friend the number one way is write down and analyze your needs and wants so what is happening that there are two things needs and wants so needs have a limit but wants have no limit 
So if you want to have a cell phone, that is your need in some cases. Maybe it's not a need, but that is your need. But to have a latest uh, iPhone or latest Android, uh, you know, so that is your want. Maybe the kind of the, you know, the job you are holding or place you live or your job profile, having a car might be a need. But having a Mercedes or BMW or any other imported or, you know, the big branded car, that is a want. So what is happening? The very first way, my dear friends, whatever you are right now, what exactly you, you want to buy, purchase or acquire or purchase, you need money. So analyze those things in two categories, needs and wants. So whatever you need, focus on them and you have to fulfill your needs. Because if you are not fulfilling your needs, you are compromising a big time and that life should not be in that way. It means something is wrong. Because, I, you know, your need should be fulfilled. And then you jump into your want aside and you analyze them. So the very first step is analyze your needs and wants and be little rational about it, about wants. Because if you are, want, you know, uh, thinking to buy a house, you know, uh, in the really uh, posh and good location, but your finances may not support it. Or if the, your finances are supporting, maybe you'll become just hand to mouth. Even if one month salary or one month business income is stop coming and suddenly what happened? You created a chaoticness in your life and pressure builds and you will enter into this middle age of crisis. Yeah, so you have to avoid, you have to deal with your wants. So that is a one up thing. Many other things basically. Yeah, so in the first needs and wants, you have to analyze it. So write it down and discuss with your family member, discuss with your wife, discuss with your parents because these needs and wants not directly related to you. It may be your wife needs or wants, your children's needs and wants, your parents' needs and wants. So in that way, just write it down and analyze them quite often if possible on monthly basis. In the beginning, maybe a weekly basis and then maybe quarterly, half yearly or yearly, it depends. You are in the business or you are in your job. So based on that, you have to, maybe no need to buy a new car. Maybe you need to buy a used car. No need to buy a car. Maybe you want to finance, I mean, the lease it. I don't know if you, every country and every place right now, there is an option for leasing. Yeah, you can lease it. Yeah, so like that. So there are options also. Having a car, first you have to go to the brand. Which brand? You are going with your wants brand or you want to go in with your need brand. Maruti might be a need brand. But having, a, you know, that Honda Accord or, you know, that might be your want brand. So, you know, till your finances are not up to, you know, control, at least try to stick to the need, not to the wants. And just it's the same way for yourself, your wife and every member, a member of family try to analyze. So that is the very first way. With that, you will get the clear picture that what exactly you want and then you analyze those needs and wants involving all the family member or whoever is a part of your a family or whoever is being dependent on your own earnings or your wife earnings or your business earnings. So I think this is the first thing you need to analyze, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Uh, can someone type me here if you are able to hear me clearly? I mean, the sound wise, are you okay? Or uh, sometimes what, uh, what happened, like, you know, because of, you know, my other headphone or something. So if someone can type me like, yes, or just thumbs up that you are okay to hear me, that would be really, really great. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, the solution number two, the way number two to deal with uh, our uh, middle age crisis is, and I said deal with expectations. So the second one, dealing with expectations. What does it mean, my dear friend? Dealing with expectation. You come from uh, your office and you entered the home and if your wife didn't bring coffee or tea within 
20 minutes, uh, 15 minutes and totally you get upset. Oh my God, she doesn't care me. Now I am not that handsome anymore or I am not active anymore or maybe I don't, people don't feel that important to me. So you created all those nonsense stories. Why? Because you have expectation from your wife that she should bring a coffee or tea or whatever it is within 15 or 20 minutes. That was your expectation. You didn't know the backstory. Your wife might, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, maybe hurt herself, or maybe she is some any urgent phone call, or she might have to step out for something, or something, something you didn't know, and you you make a conclusion that certain thing you expected, and somebody didn't come to your expectation, and you suddenly created your chaoticness. So friends, so ye ho gaya ke dealing with expectation, ye bahut, if you can manage to deal with expectation, it's very difficult to manage, but have no expectation from anybody is the most, most peaceful way to live in this world, ladies and gentlemen. You have, you might have expectation. My son should be always number, you know, one in the class. Yeah, but it, it might not always possible. And suddenly you created chaoticness. Your expectation that I should be promoted. Your expectation that you know that I uh, I should get this much of jump. Your expectation that your wife should also work. Your expectations from your neighbors. Your expectation when I go uh, you know into the bus and I always get the front seat. Your expectation when I'm driving on the roadside. Uh, you know there should be less traffic. No, what doesn't work like that, my dear friend. But your expectation really, really you know makes your makes our life not not your our life really really mis <clears throat> miserable so if you can manage to deal with expectations have very least expectation from anybody sometime even from your own from yourself so dealing expectation is like a big really a really a wonderful art and that might provide you so much of ease in your life to deal with your middle age of crisis. What happened? As I said, this ranged from 35 to 55. Suddenly you become 55 year old. But what happened? That we don't, ex we don't, you know, uh, basically digest that age that suddenly we are 55. We still feel, oh, we are like 20 or 25 year old. Suddenly your body starts giving up. You feel tired. Because if you don't maintain your body with exercise, with the right food and nutrition, suddenly you feel tired or maybe the pains and so many other things start. Your vision problem, your hearing problem, your hair falling, your other things. And you think, oh, my body, why? It started giving up, you know. It was doing fine five years ago, ten years ago. Yeah, because there are certain natural causes. There are certain natural changes. It happens. You have to deal with. So these are called the self-expectation, expectation from yourself. So it's a big one, ladies and gentlemen. So dealing with your expectation might give you a lot of ease. That was the way number two. There are many more expectations, but which with the, such a short call, I cannot go. I gave you just like a clue uh, that what I'm trying to say. So expectation is a big thing, you know. Think about that. Most of the time you get really upset from your wife, from your children, from your parents, from your friends, from your colleague, and from your boss or from your, uh, you know, the person report to you. You expected that he, this guy is supposed to deliver this project and he's one day delayed. Of course, it's your responsibility because the person works for you, but you have to do the need analysis. Some certain things might be beyond his control. So deal with your expectation will help you to deal with your middle age crisis. It can be related to money, it can be health, or it can be relationship, or whatever it is. Now the way number three to deal with your uh, middle age crisis is called comparison. So comparison is a, a very close friend to uh, expectation, but little different, like comparison. That, uh, for instance, you and your friend both st studied in the same school and did the engineering from the same college. Now you start comparing that guy is running like a multi, multi, a million, a dollar big company and he's owning that company. And you end up just working for some company and you are nowhere. 
or maybe chances are there that you might be working for your colleague who has company you work for him so now you are comparing yourself to that person or you might be comparing your own kids so that your kids and your friends kids your friends kids gone to the howard and your kids uh, did not able to qualify or not up to that and you suddenly started comparing and making your, your yourself upset and this is happening in your middle age because that is the age your children you know going to university and college and because most of the time 35 to 50 of that is age your kids are in the universities and colleges so this is one comparison it can be for yourself comparison and you sometimes you, you people compare their own wife with others wife oh my wife is this other wife is that and the children and yourself your house your car your salary your position your city oh my friend he lives in canada and i am living in india but you don't know living in canada has advantage and also disadvantage see i am the one who live in canada but i feel i i missed my india and one way I'm trying to compromise, I'm talking to my friends and speaking in English, speaking in Hindi and sharing my knowledge and experience. So comparison. So if you are able to deal with the comparison, basically healthy way, oh, that will ease out a big time of my dear friend. So that was about dealing with comparison. Yeah. So let's go to the way number four. So there are five ways I am explaining here. There are many, many ways and these are what I felt to share with you. So I'm sharing. So number four way to deal with your middle age crisis or pressure cooker is, is, is called do not take undue responsibilities so basically dealing with your responsibilities what happens sometime what is what do you mean by undue responsibility that okay your sal your salary is not that big but you suddenly made and promise to your wife or with your children and most of the time what happened we don't share our struggle in office to the family yeah sometimes it is good not to share them and especially the male side they try not to share with them they feel oh if i'm going to share with my wife or with my children they are going to feel sad that papa has some problem at the job site that you know he maybe company asks if company has given kind of the indication if you don't perform we will you know fire you or something like that or maybe you you expected that you get your 30 percent raise or or 30 percent bonus or something some financials gain were expected they didn't happen and based on those expectations you have already promised to your wife or your children or your family member or your friend maybe you have borrowed money from somebody and you say hey the bonus is coming i will give you or maybe you decided to change your car or some uh, major maintenance something based on that you know money you are expecting but that didn't happen and now what happened that you did not tell your wife and kid because you have made a promise and now it, you think it was my responsibility to fulfill that promise but because the money didn't come and you are not able to now what happened you created the chaoticness so this is called undue responsibility yes you took responsibility to do that but since money didn't come so in ideal situation what you should do you come and tell your wife your children my dear wife my dear uh, uh, my dear son or my dear daughter or my dear children what happened this is what happened so yeah so i'm really sorry and next time believe me your you'll get full support from your family so don't take these undue responsibility sometime for your friend sometime for somebody else you know so whenever you are taking responsibility make sure before taking them that how much impact they are going to make in your professional and personal basically the family life so analyze them before taking that responsibility i may want to go a little one step further here because it's, it's, it's a good uh, way to deal with the middle age crisis that uh, what happened like you know especially the western world is uh, getting a very very practical in most of the cases they are saying that for your children the last day of college or university is that day of ending your responsibility from your children 
suppose he's, he or she is doing in engineering and after that decided to go for MBA. So probably even, uh, you know, when the last day, when they finish his MBA, that is the last day after that, there is no financial responsibility on you. Even better, once they finish engineering and after that, let them go and work couple of years, have some industry experience and earn their own money to pursue their MBA or any higher education. So that is the best way. So this is what I meant about the responsibility. So then don't take that undue responsibility. What is happening in many, many cases that our parents they took responsibility about us, you know, about our education. When you got married also, they also take responsibility and whole life they just struggle in a way to just supporting you and other uh, siblings. Same way you are doing will be supporting your kids and taking the responsibility for everything. Not only that, sometime that you wanted to become an actor and you did not, succeed so you want your son to become actor or singer or some sort of profession or you know art you want to do and you have not able to do now you are putting on your son and daughter and you are telling them also that was my dream if you if you can do it you know so what happened now now those kids are living under pressure even before the middle age their life crisis started so don't try to throw your own dreams on your kids let them live their life my dear friend with that what is happening that you are putting your uh, you know wishes on them and they will try to live that and in the process they will not able to enjoy their life and they will maybe pass the same thing to the next generation to break that link ladies and gentlemen and create this natural freedom about yourself so what you do you, when the kids are in the last, you know, the last day college university, they said, thank you very much, my dear son, and, you know, we love you, but now you are on your own, and let them live, otherwise what it happen? You become 70 year old, and then you start, you know, oh my God, see, uh, 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 me and my wife, we all spend our time and money to our kids, now they are living in the US or in Canada, and nobody here to take care of, even including me. My parents, I brought them, they were here, and then my parents decided to go back. So my mom is no more, but is still lucky to uh, bring them here to spend some time. And my dad, he lives in India with my brother, you know. So, uh, but my father might, uh, you know, think, oh, see, I have three sons, but now uh, only one son is here, and, they, you know, they are living in Canada. So there are many such family, uh, I'm sure whoever is listening, they you all know what I'm talking about, yeah? So don't take undue responsibility. This undue responsibility are creating so much of chaoticness, ladies and gentlemen, in our life. Remember in Hindi, they say, put kaput kadhan sanche, put saput kadhan sanche. So what happened? If you are trying to, you know, accumulate a lot of money, a lot of wealth to transfer to the next generation, so think sometime what motivation they will have if they, you have they have all inherited you know good money and house and everything what motivation they will have same way only thing you need to give them good education and let them earn their own fortune and own future and you enjoy your life so that was my dear friend related to uh, that don't take undue responsibility and the last one last one is a Kind of, I love this one, the last one. So the last one to deal with your uh, middle-aged crisis or pressure cooker is, is love yourself. Love yourself is a big one, ladies and gentlemen. Love yourself means pamper yourself. What does it mean? Let me go more in deep. Have fun. When I say have fun means, you know, Go and have the best food into the restaurant. Travel the place you wanted to go. Travel the college you studied. Go and meet your friend. Go to other countries. Just travel. Have fun. If you wanted to have a particular car or a bike or horse or something you want to do, just do it. Just do it, my dear friend. Bring that college boy back. Bring that child who used to play like a free bird. Bring that boy back. Who is asking you? 
You know, who's asking you that you become 50 year old and not to go and play badminton, not to go and learn the swimming, not to go and write the poem? Who's stopping you to take your wife like a college going kids and take her to different city or different country and just spend one week together like, you know, a honeymoon trip? Who is asking not to do that, ladies and gentlemen? Many people they say, oh, in our society now we have to take care about kid, we become grandparent and blah, 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 blah. No, it's all nonsense and all BS, ladies and gentlemen. We live just for society and for others and whole life we end up in this chaoticness. Don't, don't do that. Don't, you are born and you have full right to live a like a free bird. Yeah. With all saying, and I, yeah, we have to deal with so many things. Consider a case, you know, sometime, you know, in, uh, in our life, you don't know what is going on. Yes, I do understand. I have gone to that chaoticness. I have dealt with, the, uh, chaos, uh, you know, uh, most two, uh, you know, loving women in my life, you know. And, you know, and, and uh, you know, I have dealt with and you deal with. I understand. But at the same time, life need not to be that way. So love yourself. Sit down sometime quietly and ask yourself these three questions my virtual coach Brendan Bouchard had taught me. Ask yourself three questions. The first one, did I live? Just ask and give little reflect on that. And the second question asked my dear friend, did I love? Did I love? This love can be to your wife, to your children, to your brothers, to your parents, to your friends. To Did I really love? It can be to the animal. It can be to trees. It can be to your homeland, your village, your house, anything. Did I, you know, did you ever get a chance to have that compassion about your surroundings? The people surround, you, you are surrounded with, the place you are surrounded with, the things you are surrounded with. Did you love them? So first one, did I live? Second one, did I love? And the third one is the most important for me. Did I matter? Just ask yourself, did I matter? Did I, like many millions of people came and gone into this world without any, you know, any dent or any impact to this world? Or did you make any impact? Did you do anything that place become different? A people become different, this world become, did you make any difference to this world or in the process of making it or just you are living your default life, my dear friends? It's all possible today. So the fifth one is very, very important. That love yourself. Have fun. Have vacations. Bring that child back. Bring that college child, that you know, college going by energy back. That enthusiasm back. Have that curiosity. That if you from India, if you live in Lucknow, go to Uti, go to South India, go to Goa, go to Jammu, go to other part of the world, go to Mumbai. Just walk with your wife, holding hand each other. Walk on the, you know, on the Juhu beach. Go and just meet and eat the favorite food, the favorite places you might have seen on the movies. Oh, that you know, Bombay Beach or something, some place you have always seen a movie. Go and just see that place. Yeah, go and watch those movies. Visit those theater. Visit those places. Have fun. Have fun. Take your camera, click the picture, make the videos, document your, your life, ladies and gentlemen. It's all possible today. So that is called loving yourself. Throw all the old clothes. Still I see some people who are 55, 60 year old and the pant or shirt they bought when they were 30 or they cannot throw because that is very expensive. Forget it, man. Sometimes those old clothes bring some sad memories. Throw them off. Throw means... Just give donation, go, don donate to somebody or some, some places and buy all the completely new, throw all the old things and totally renew yourself, reinvent yourself, buy all the new clothes and all the new things and remove everything and live. You know, I was living in Montreal and in Montreal they have this uh, uh, one thing that every July they change their houses. Can you imagine? 
because I went to September, it was difficult to rent a place for me in Montreal back, I'm talking about in 2000, 2001, because every July is the month of shifting, everybody shift. So new thing, new people, there is a, why they do that? Adventurousness, excitement, otherwise the same house, same sofa, bloody same land, yeah, there is a good thing. But what happens sometimes, you become rut. So try to change. Become a new person by changing your new clothes, new neighborhood. Sometime, you know, one of the clients I was coaching and he said, Rakesh, my dream, I want to buy my retirement home in Mexico. I said, you know what? Don't buy it. Go and rent it. Just go and rent it. Because, and same thing they did after the eighth day, they called, they said, Rakesh, you are so right. We rent it and we, we don't like it. Few days is okay as a vacation. Some places, like if you go to Switzerland, Switzerland is very good for vacationing, but it is it's not a good place to live for you know uh, for many years as a permanent residence. You may not like it, especially if you are from India, Pakistan, and those places because the food, the culture, the weather, you know, the, the, the lifestyle, you may not find it. Like my parents, they were here, and not only my parents, many parents who come from India live in Canada. They don't like it. For them, like my father used to say, like a jail, like a golden cups, you know. So don't they, you know, so that's why I'm trying to say, ladies and gentlemen, I think I have said enough about today here. So again, I will very fast, I will recap. And before recap, let me give a shout out to my friends who gave me such an important time, such a valuable time to me from India, from Canada and worldwide. I really, really appreciate that. And hopefully I was able to add little value, little motivation, little inspiration, little perspective to your life, my dear friend. So the friend who joined me today, Dante Migrardi, Kalanarayan, Garis Modha, Harnik Matharu, Manjit Singh, Tom Shilvan, Hetal Patel, Bridges Tripathi, Tejas Patel, Jimmy Kaushal, Jitu Singh, Shadhura Mishra Bhai Sahab, Ranga Rao, Harkirat Kangura, and Jolly, Jolly Uncle Ji from Delhi, Anis Ahmed Sahab, and Chani Dhaliwal, and uh, Nam Jamal, Norm Jamal, Rajkumar Sharma, George Kazaris, Mahend Singh, and uh, Vera, Veronica Flor, Arthur Seri, Joga Kang, Wendy Lee, Chandan Kumar, Rinki Mishra, my wife, Digambar Nashwa, Mohammad Reza, Alia Singh, Ashok Sharma, Jaimin Bachache. So thank you, thank you very much everybody. So just quick recap, my dear friends. Today it was the, uh, you know, the topic that uh, middle age crisis or pressure cooker age and five ways to deal with your middle age crisis. And the way number one, I took it. So write down and analyze your needs and wants. What exactly uh, you want? You are, uh, you know, focusing on your wants and, and creating the chaoticness or you are focusing on the needs. So go and back and listen from the beginning. I explain uh, quite clearly what does it mean about the first way or first, uh, you know, uh, way to resolve your crisis. And the second one is a deal with your expectation. The third one deal with a comparison you do. Maybe not, but you know, so that, that the third one is whoever it belongs to or, you know. And the fourth one, do not uh, take undue responsibility. So deal with your, them, with your responsibility. And the fifth one, and very important to me, to my heart, is love yourself. Add some fun sub-adventures in your life, ladies and gentlemen. Life is too short. Don't waste it. Don't live for only others. It's your responsibility to protect your happiness, to protect your health, to protect your identity, to protect your legacy. So it's you and you have all the rights to live happy and fulfilled life. And for that, sometimes you have to be selfish and nothing wrong into it. My dear friends, Bhagwan kabhi aisa na kare ki aapko apne jo jinko aap bolte hai bahut close hai unko test karne ka mauka mile sabhi log shayad test mein khare nahi utar payenge lekin agar aap healthy ho jaisa ki main hamesha bolta hu ki the best gift you can this is my last lines hai uske baad main aap se vida chahunga 
तो द बेस्ट गिफ्ट यू कैन गिव टू दिस वर्ल्ड टू योर फैमिली टू योर वाइफ टू योर सोसाइटी यू नो वॉट वॉट इज दैट गिफ्ट कैन यू गैस जस्ट टाइप समन द बेस्ट गिफ्ट यू कैन गिव टू योर फैमिली टू योर सोसाइटी टू योर नेशन टू दिस वर्ल्ड यू नो वॉट इज दैट गिफ्ट ट्राई समन गैस सो एनी वे सो द बेस्ट गिफ्ट इज हेल्दी यू so out of those five ways to deal with your crisis the last one focus on the last one love yourself healthy you if you are healthy everything else looks healthy and everything else you feel really really supporting to you else you are inviting crisis on your own दोस्तों इन्हीं शब्दों के साथ मैं अपनी इस वाणी को विराम देता हूं इस वादे के साथ कि अगले सोमवार को मंडे की इस मॉर्निंग सभा में फिर आपसे मुलाकात होगी किसी और नए टॉपिक के साथ किसी और नए इंथुजियाज़म और एनर्जी के साथ और विश यू ऑल द बेस्ट टू हैव अ वंडरफुल एक्साइटिंग एंड एडवेंचरस वीक दोस्तों कुछ कर जाओ अपनी ज़िंदगी को और खूबसूरत बनाने के लिए बहुत ज़्यादा टेंशन लेने की ज़रूरत नहीं है टेंशन से क्या होता है कुछ होता नहीं है लेकिन एक्शन से चीज़ें आसान हो जाती हैं और हमें मोटिवेशन मिलता है अगेन मैं डिस्क्लेमर करना चाहूँगा कि जितना भी मैंने शेयर किया दोस्तों ये मैंने अपनी लाइफ शेयर की ये चीज़ें मैं अपने आप में करता हूँ रिव्यू करता हूँ इन चीज़ों को उससे मुझे फ़ायदा हुआ इसलिए मैं आपसे शेयर किया और फुल डिस्क्लेमर कि कोई भी एक्शन कुछ लेने से पहले आपके जो एक्सपर्ट हैं उनसे लेकिन इसमें कोई ऐसी चीज़ नहीं है कि बड़ी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड है जिससे कोई डॉक्टर क्यों किसी की सलाह लेनी है कि एक ज़िंदगी जीने के फलसफे होते हैं एक तरीके होते हैं और आप में बहुत सारे लोग कर भी रहे होंगे लेकिन क्या होता है कि वही कोई दूसरा बोलता है तो अपने आप को एक प्रोत्साहन मिलता है और एक आपको सपोर्ट मिलता है तो दोस्तों चलिए हम फिर अगले हफ मंडे आपसे फिर मुलाकात करेंगे और बहुत खुशी होगी कि आप अपने कमेंट्स या आप अपने सुझाव क्या अच्छा लगा क्या अच्छा नहीं लगा बहुत खुशी होगी उनके पढ़ के तो चलिए दोस्तों आपको ये आपके दोस्त और होस्ट राकेश मिश्रा की तरफ से एक इनविजिबल सल्यूट आपको और आप अपनी वीक को मस्ती के साथ गुजारें और बस इस तरीके से बातें चलती रहें एक दूसरे के अपनी एक्सपीरियंसेस शेयर करते रहें और एक दूसरे को हेल्प करते रहें यही एक जीवन का मकसद है तो दोस्तों वन सकीन थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर ज्वाइनिंग एंड हैव वंडरफुल वंडरफुल वीक अहेड और मिलते हैं फिर एक अंतराल के बाद अगले मंडे मॉर्निंग सभा में बाय बाय हैव वंडरफुल डे बाय बाय